text is a program to find if a string is palindrome or not. So, whether a string or a number, palindrome means we should first find the reverse of it. And if both are same, then we can say it is a palindrome. So, let's consider an example. Say, good. It's a one string. If that be the case, this index will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So, how you can find the reverse of a string? Say, for example, let we have two variables. Let this be str and you need another variable to find the reverse of it. First thing is reverse should have the same size. So, say 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and here 0 in the 0 position, it d should come. Okay, so here rev of 0 should be str of 3. Similarly, here O should come, this thing. So, 1. So, REV of 1 should correspond to STR of 2. Then, REV of 2 should be STR of 1. REV of 3 should be STR of 0. So, even if you are asked to calculate the reverse of a string and print the reverse, you can do the same thing. Okay. So, we are actually... Finding out reverse of the string like this. Okay. And what is it should come from 0 to 3. Here length of string is 4. So index should change from say for example REV of uh, say J. This we can take it as J. Similar to what we have given in program. So REV of J. If we give like this REV of J where J should vary from 0 to len minus 1. Okay, this is how J should vary. Okay, and what about I? In case of I, I should be, when J is 0, I should be len minus 1. That's the first case. When J is 0, I should be len minus 1. Then J should increment by 1. When J is incremented by 1, I should be decremented by 1. So, that is the logic. So, first, when j is 0, the corresponding letter that should come here is str of len minus 1. So, when j is 0, i should be len minus 1. And then j should be incremented by 1 and i should be decremented. That is seen here from this example. i is decremented. So, i corresponds to the index of str and j corresponds to the index of rev. So, when j increases, i is decreasing and i starts with len minus 1, j starts with 0. And now we will come back to the program. We have two variables, one is str and the other is rav. We can give a, a common size for both. Then we need variables, i, j, the loop variables and len for the length of the string. Then to enter a string using get this and len is calculated using str len. Okay. That function is used. Then this is the loop and this is explained here with this example. For i is equal to len minus 1 and j equals 0 because we have to deal with both the loop variables. So the initial value of i is len minus 1 and the initial value of j is 0. After that you put a semicolon. Then condition. We don't have to give condition in terms of both i and j because they are changing in the same way. So, we can give i greater than or equal to 0 because i is decreasing from len minus 1. i goes on decreasing till i becomes 0. Okay, so i greater than or equal to 0 that is the condition. Again, you put a semicolon. Then, i should be decreasing and j should be increasing. So, you give like this. So, for loop you already know for first is initialization expression. Initialization means here we have two variables. So, initial value of j is 0 and initial value of i is len minus 1. That is given here. Then, after that you put a semicolon. Here as we have two variables, here you give comma. But after both you give semicolon. Second is condition. Co condition you gave i greater than or equal to 0. Again you put a semicolon. So, after condition what do you have to give? how it should be updated. So, update expression is the third one. Here also you have two variables and they are behaving in opposite way. When i is decremented, j is incremented. So, you give both with comma. 
After that, you close the bracket and then at each time what should happen? REV of J should be equal to STR of I that we gave here. Okay, so we are not giving any bracket. So only the statement is executed within the loop. When this is complete, what will happen? The next J value, what we have to do is REV of J should be equal to null to add the null character. After that, you are comparing STR and REV. If that is returning zero value, that means both STR and REV are same. If they are same, you can print it as a palindrome, else it is not a palindrome. So if you are asked to find the reverse of a string, after this line number 12, you can just give a put as REV. You can give print of the reverse of the string is, after that you can give put as ST, uh, you can give put as REV. You can print the reverse of the string. As here in this program, they have asked to check if it is a palindrome. So, we are using strcmp function to check if both are equal. And if it is returning a zero value, you print that the string is a palindrome. Let's check the output. Enter a string. Let's give good morning. It is not a palindrome. We can try one palindrome string. So this is a palindrome. Okay, so reverse of this string is also the same. If you want to give the print of the reverse of a string, you can give like this printf. Let's give a string. The reverse of the string is. It's printed there and after that it's not a palindrome. To give a space you can give here as slash t. You can print it again. We can print the reverse of the string and then check if it is a palindrome. 